So, okay, so you start filming, and I think it's like toward the end of 1979 in Tennessee, and I know it's freezing cold outside, and everyone's living in the same house during the shoot. Can you tell us a little bit about those living conditions and what it was like sharing a bedroom with the other ladies? Well, that wasn't so bad. I mean, I I had been in college. I had a college roommate. I lived in a sorority, so that didn't bother me. Um, one bathroom between three ladies that I had Carol syrup or mud or dirt all over them, that was hard because it was like, who got back to the house first? And we always shot at night. So it was whoever got back to the house first at five or 6 a.m. got the best shower, you know? Um, I actually felt bad a few times, not often, for the neighborhood because it was just a regular three-bedroom, you know, ranch house. And all of a sudden there were all these cars with maybe, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people, 10 at the most, all looking like they're under 25 or 26 years old, which we were, uh, going in and out of the house, not in the morning, like to go to work with a briefcase, but coming in with mud and dirt and red blood all over every morning. So that must have been kind of weird. Um, the living conditions, the guys didn't care where they slept. They didn't care where they kept their clothes. And there were a lot of times when, many times when Sam and Bruce were looking at the dailies, and I'm sure Teresa said the same thing, where You'd finally wake up at three or four in the afternoon because you're, you're going to go to the set at 6 p.m. And you'd hear this old, you know, projector going plop, 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 And they had been given, they had been sent dailies and they were so tired. They just fell asleep and the reel was over. And it just, <laughs> it was just flapping like two hours later. We often saw that. They, a lot of the special effects, as I'm sure Teresa told you, were done by Tim, uh, uh, Tom Sullivan, mm -hmm. um, who I was going to say, I love and adore, which I do, but, oh, well, then why didn't you remember his name? But I just <laughs> sideswiped there. But he would actually prepare a lot of the special effects in the kitchen, which probably isn't and wasn't a great idea because you'd go in and maybe be hungry for something, not mm -hmm. realizing he was boiling the chicken bones from last night's dinner for something else. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And then we took turns doing the laundry then we had to have a, a meeting. We had to have a few meetings about how to keep bathrooms clean. And oh, wow. you know, it was like uh, living in a frat house. Yeah. How long did the initial shoot last? The initial shoot, I think, was supposed to last about six or seven weeks. We went down toward the end of very end of October, because I think I met them at the very end of September or early mid October. And we went down at the end of October. I left on the 23rd of December.